morning and salam ibu petiriku. The suffering of a three-year-old boy who is believed to have been abused by his guardians was uncovered after he was sent to Limbang Hospital for treatment on Monday last night. Limbang District Police Chief Superintendent Muhammad Bukhari Safai said the incident was discovered by a hospital staff who treated the unconscious boy sent for treatment by his aunt, his guardian. Medical examination results showed that the boy was bleeding at the left brain and had bruises and injuries all over his body. There were also injuries under the neck and all wounds under on the abdomen. However, the guardian admitted having hit him using a cloth hanger while her husband frequently hit the boy using his hand. Police subsequently arrested the 20-year-old suspect yesterday morning and are still tracking her husband for investigation under Section 31, Subsection 1, Subsection A of the Child Act 2001. The Parent Teacher Association PTA of SMK Ulu Balingian is appealing to the federal government to help put an end to the water shortage which is affecting about 700 people in the school. PTA Chairman Lanting Lengeng said although the water supply problem occurs periodically, it has been going on for more than two years, causing much more inconvenience to teachers and students. He said the situation worsened during the, weather during the dry weather because the school depends much on rain harvesting. Lanting related that the submersible pump used by the school to draw water from Balingan River to the reservoir was no longer functioning properly, following a short circuit when an excavator doing construction works along Pen Borneo Highway damaged its main electric cable. He added that the main water pipe leading to the school, which is located along Pen Borneo Highway, was also damaged during the construction works. He recalled that the contractor did carry out the repair, but the submersible pump was still not functioning as it should be. As a short-term measure, the contractor had provided water supply to the school using tankers for a certain period of time. One youth was killed while another was badly hurt after the motorcycle they were travelling on crashed into a storm drain on Tuesday. The incident happened at 10.15 p.m. in front of Taman Bamboo along Jalan Mission in Song. The pillion rider from Sabah was pronounced dead at the scene of the accident by medical personnel, while the rider who is from Song was seriously injured. The rider was sent to Cebu Hospital for further treatment. Initial police investigations revealed no other vehicles were involved in the accident. The case has been classified under Section 41, point, Subsection 1 of the Road Transport Act 1987. And that is all for me. I'm Yves Reni for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.